Hello everyone, so in today's video I wanted to share some tips and tricks with you which you can apply today and it will help you improve a lot your web scrapping skills. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so tip number one. So let's say you are trying to visit what the watch page in IMDb and you want to scrap those movies and for each movie get the movie details. Now what you will normally do is Let's say you are using Puppeteer or Selenium, you will visit this page, you will fetch the element that has all the movies, and then you would map the children of that element. And for each children, you will get the movie details by HTML. But what if I told you there is a better way? Now, this does not apply in every case, but I'll make sure I check those methods out first and then try the normal method, let's say. Okay, so what you should do is go to the network tab. Okay, so normally what websites do is fetch those movies from an endpoint and not display them immediately here. So what we will do now is open inspect element, go to the network tab, and what we will try to find is an endpoint that fetches those movies. Again, not every website does like this. Some websites are using server-side rendering, so there will be no endpoint visible here. So to find the endpoint, what I will usually do is get one of those movies, maybe get the title of that movie, and put it here. And then I'll search. Actually, if you are visiting network tab for the first time, you have to refresh so you get the new requests. There we go. And then let's search for a movie. And as you see, in our example, we have an available endpoint. So what I will do is I will see what the endpoint looks like. And if we go on the edges, edges represent the movies. If you go on each children element of those edges, as you see, I can get the title. I can also get the rating right here. And you can find all those elements, like the primary image, for example. And this is a better way of fetching them. So you'll go on headers, copy the endpoint, and then Instead of using Selenium or Puppeteer, you could use Axios or Request. And this is a faster method of doing that. And also, yeah, actually it's just faster and easier to do. For tip number two, sometimes those endpoints are not available for the public. So even if I try to use Axios, it will block access. Why? because it uses cores and it does not allow any other domain but itself, so imdb.com, to access the endpoint. What you could do is that you could try to listen to those requests by using Puppeteer or Selenium and you could fetch that JSON response. So basically you listen to that endpoint. I have made a video on that, you can click up here and I'll display in order Puppeteer and Selenium videos. Now tip number two is to know how to bypass security. Now some sites will detect that you are a bot. So when you're trying to sign in by using Selenium or Axios or anything like that, it will block you from accessing that website because it knows you are a bot. So again, I will redirect you to my videos, which I'll link here. And I have made videos on both Puppeteer and Selenium on how to bypass that security. Now, it doesn't work every time, but it works most of the times, the tips I show you there. So tip number three is to how to easily locate a selector of any element on a website that you want to scrub. So how to easily locate an element and either with Google Chrome and other Browsers like Firefox or Edge use that as well. You can click on the top left button right here. 
hover over the element that you want to scrub. Let's say we want to scrub this title. And there it is. You can easily find that element within the HTML of the page. Now, how do we easily get the selector? Well, we can right click, copy, and then copy the selector. Or you could also copy the XPath, full XPath, and any other selector that you find useful. XPath is sometimes useful when you have the same selector for multiple elements of the website. Now, similar to tip number one is that sometimes websites are having the JSON data that you might want to scrap in those scripts tags right here. So what you could do is use an HTML parser, get the script tag, remove those script tags and get the content inside that script tag and basically parse that JSON. Again, that's a useful way of saving time. So there is no need of using Selenium or, or Puppeteer, which is sometimes less efficient. Okay, so the next tip is you plan before you scrap. So like any project, we want to have a plan of what we will be doing. And like I suggested in my previous tips, there is a lot of ways you can make your script more efficient. So make sure you plan and your plan could look like this. So first of all, what website do I want to scrub? So for example, amazon.com. Next, what do I want to scrub? So I would like to scrub the electronic products. The next thing I'll think of is which page can I access those products? And then how can I access them? And I'll try to look of the most efficient way of accessing those products. And again, there is a lot of planning you could put on this. And yeah, like you don't have to make a huge plan or anything. It can take you one to two minutes to think of things like that. And maybe a few minutes to research those things. But yeah, like don't go ahead and just start scrapping and making code before you just have a small plan in your mind. Now learn page structures. So when you want to maybe scrap those products right here, use the inspect element and see how those are structured. So what I will go ahead and do is again use this tool right here. So the structure of this website, for example, is we have this element right here. So I'll tell my scrubber to get this element. Then, as you see, the structure is within this element, we have each product. So I'll make my scrubber go through each product. And again, this is part of planning. So I guess this is part two of planning. Now, for example, this structure has many elements which you have to get through to get the title or the image as you see right here and there is the image for example there we go and yeah again try to learn the page structure first before you go ahead and scrap it now the most important tip is that make sure you read the terms of service or I think if you, even if you go on the robots.txt of the website, you could see if they allow you to scrub their pages, who they allow access to, and which pages they allow access to scrub and which not. And as you see, for example, this page is not allowed to be scraped, but for example, the wish list of the iPad is allowed to be scraped. Now, I think robots.txt is mostly referred to search engine crawlers. But I guess make sure you check those, check the terms or service of the website. And they might mention somewhere that they are not allowing you to scrap their websites. And yeah, I think that's it for today's tips and tricks. Hope you learned something new and it helps you improve your skills. 
If you do so, hit the like button, I'll appreciate it a lot and helps your YouTube algorithm to promote these videos to other developers so they can also learn these tips and tricks. And yeah, make sure you subscribe because I'll do many such videos in the future as well. And hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of them. So yeah, with that said, see you in the next video.